Hi, I'm Nora Holloway from TacticalGear.com. We're here at the 2013 SHOT Show. I'm joined by Jared Preston. He's the product specialist for Sunto, and we're going to talk about a little bit about the Ambit, which came out last year. If you could go over some of the key points with us. Yeah, so it came out last April. Mm -hmm. uh, the Ambit has an altimeter, a barometer, a compass. Uh, the compass is a 3D compass, so you don't have to hold it flat like you would with most other watches, mm -hmm. uh, or even a base plate compass. Okay. Um, it, it, it integrates GPS with that. Um, the GPS is not just uh, not just speed and distance, but it's also navigation. You can store up to 100 waypoints. You can store routes on the, the watch as well. Um, and then you also have heart rate functionality. Okay. And what's new for this year is that there's a software update. Was there like any process behind it, or was it designed for any particular person? Yeah, the, the, this last update uh, was designed uh, to add some navigational functionality, some extra navigational functionality, uh, as well as... Um, some more data uh, on the unit. So this last update we had come, we had routes, uh, which you can now put on the watch. So you can see a graph of where you've been. Uh, so you can see where you've been on the trail, up and down, left and right, uh, make it a little bit easier to get back if you need to. Uh, you can also store a route uh, using moveScount.com, which is our, our website that we use to transfer data to and from the watch. Uh, doing that, you can upload a route before you go and it'll, the watch will guide you on the route so you know where to go and you don't get lost on the trail. Um, another, the other feature that we have is the app zone that came out, uh, which is fairly new. Uh, and the app zone will allow the, the consumer to customize what data they see on their watch. Um, and that's, uh, you can take any data that the watch already provides uh, and you can create your own formulas. Um, so right now we have a few, some of the funner ones on there. You can see how much chocolate or how much beer you've burned off during a workout. Uh, the other thing, uh, one, and then some of the more practical, uh, you can see how long it would be for a half marathon or marathon uh, at the current pace you're going. Uh, there's an incline app that will show you how, uh, like what your degree incline or decline is on the trail as well. So who typically wears the Ambit, would you say? The Ambit actually has been our first watch that has encompassed everybody. Okay. Um, we have a lot of triathletes. We have a lot of soldiers that wear it. Okay. Um, a lot of people that train just in the gym. Uh, we have people that recreationally hike, hunters, fishermen. Um, it really has a wide variety of uses and function, and because of that, it fits in a lot of activities. One thing we found was that not uh, one person, although they may identify themselves as a fisherman, a hunter, or a soldier, uh, that soldier also works out. That soldier also hikes. Uh, he also mountain bikes. Um, so it's it's a watch that you can buy that looks good uh, and is it has a function in almost everything you do. Does this come in a, a couple different styles? If you could go over some of the different colors and yeah, there's the the black one that I'm holding here, uh, and then there's a silver version as well. The black one uh, and the silver both have a really cool feature that you can invert the display. So you have a black on black or a black on white just with the press of the button. Uh, and then there's a silver bezel that also has that same functionality. Uh, and then there's uh, one comes, there's also one with a heart rate belt, one without. Both have the functionality. One just comes with the belt and one doesn't. Awesome. Thanks so much, Jared. Yeah. And I'm Nora from tacticalgear.com. Thanks for watching.